All right, Tulsi Kratz, Bernie Kratz, free radicals of all shapes, sizes, and colors. Aloha. Welcome back to the Radical Independent. My name is Dave. You know, I, I consider myself just some guy that decided to jump into the political fray and support, I believe, the greatest candidate uh, in my lifetime who could unite the country, who could bring the left and right together, who would institute really progressive policies that would help people, who's a true economic populist, and uh, who is not a warmonger, and who would probably uh, be able to pull us out of these never-ending conflicts, and mean it, and do it. So um, I stumbled upon this. Uh, I went to a concert last night, so I've been kind of out of the loop a little bit for the last 12 hours or so. But I can tell you this video from Steven Crowder. And by the way, listen, <laughs> you know, I, I did a video where I talked about Tucker Carlson. And uh, I remember seeing some of those comments before I really started to say I can't keep reading all these comments because I'll go insane. Um, but people were saying, how could you say something positive about uh, Tucker Carlson? You know, folks, we need to get to a result in this country. We need to stop worrying about all the little distractions along the way. If, if you can't deal with a Tucker Carlson or a Steven Crowder, um, I, I don't know, I would seek help. I would, I would just say, you know what, maybe I've got bigger problems in my life, worrying about what Steven Crowder is saying all day or... or um, Ben Shapiro. I've noticed that a progressive hosts are really worried about Ben Shapiro all the time. <laughs> I mean, spending your time debunking Ben Shapiro when you could be promoting the candidate who could change the world. Literally, change the world. So, I've experienced a random demonetization. In fact, my music channel went through a weird thing recently. For months... My income had been cut literally in half. Uh, I wasn't getting a whole lot of new subscribers over there. and uh, But my, my views were pretty constant. Everything looked good. My analytics looked good. And Crowder talks about this in this video. And then all of a sudden, a few weeks ago, things started to be better. And I wasn't sure why. Well... I watched a couple of other commentators talk about this, how uh, in some quarters YouTube has basically turned on the advertising advertising stream and the, um, the search engines now will show your video in a place where it, it wasn't there before. In other words, if you search for me, my music channel, uh, you will find me, whereas before for quite some time you weren't finding me. Uh, the subscribers still were getting notifications and so forth, but um, there wasn't a lot of energy. There wasn't a lot of viewership. Now, all of a sudden, a viewership has kicked back in. Uh, with my political channel here, <laughs> I had some incredible growth for a few weeks, and then that uh, growth was uh, stunted, and uh, suddenly so, and the content really hasn't changed all that much, other, other than the fact that at times I do tend to be a little scatterbrained. And uh, I admit it, and if you don't like it, obviously you can go watch somebody who's got point by point. There are some great commentators out there who do that, who can go point by point and, um, you know, have a, a well thought out video planned. You can do all kinds of planning. Sometimes... Uh, the well-planned-out videos don't go as well as the videos where you get to just vent and, and speak off the cuff. Steven Crowder here has uncovered something and done so in a very meticulous way. He's going to talk about Tulsi Gabbard. So I'm going to roll this. Because, uh, number one, I want this replicated. Uh, I want this in my video so people can watch it in case Crowder's video goes MIA, which it might. So let me roll this. Again, please do tweet it out. Use the hashtags Facebook, Instagram, in case this gets removed. Is it still up? Are we still up? Yeah, we're still up. Okay, good. Good-ish. Um, on Friday, Hillary Clinton, Rodham, 
case, case you think you're Hillary, Hillary Rodham Clinton, Clinton uh, claimed that Tulsi Gabbard, well, she claimed that there were people who were Russian assets, and then it was confirmed that it was Tulsi Gabbard, right? Confirmed that she was talking about Tulsi Gabbard, accusing her of being a Russian asset. Uh, and Tulsi's response had her trending. Number one on Twitter, uh, I think it was, was on Friday. It was last Friday. That's when we were looking at this. Okay, so she was number one on Twitter. Actually, I think it was like number one through four because one might have been Tulsi, another might have been Russian asset, another might have been Gabbard. The point is, she was the bell of the ball. With many verified check marks, by the way, and pundits um, running with the story, fighting over whether she was a Russian plant. So during this time, we decided to, again, while Tulsi Gabbard was in the spotlight, run some comparative searches on YouTube. When, when we, we set, set our VPN, VPN, so I want to be clear, this is the crescendo. Share it, pirate this in case it gets removed. When we set our VPN to a non-United States country, and we search for Tulsi Gabbard, her channel and the videos from her channel all showed up first. Yet again, when we switched our searches to the United States, however, nothing. Exclusively in the United States, the country in which she is currently running for president, you would receive no results from Tulsi Gabbard's channel or her videos until scrolling past the first page. Here's a video screen recording, and just in case people try to say that we've documented it. By the way, these video screen recordings will be available as clips on YouTube should you want to use them uh, for articles. So, that Friday, you search, she's trending one on Twitter, all of a sudden, boom. Valve is pinched, you can't find her exclusively in the United States, you can't enter in Germany, you can't enter in Spain. United States, however, nothing. By Sunday, once the trend of Hillary Clinton's character assassination had subsided, the results for the U.S. and other countries were magically switched back to being identical. All right. Um, <laughs> just, you know, I don't know what to say about this. Um, you know, by the way, uh, I do need your support. I'm not Steven Crowder as far as my viewership, my subscribers. Um, if you can be charitable, uh, PayPal, one-time donations, also Patreon, there's a really high possibility that this video is going to get demonetized. Um, I am a little guy on the scene compared to um, some of these other commentators who have, you know, if I had a hundred thousand subscribers i think that would be kind of um you know uh, it, it would show people that uh, you're watching this is a serious channel i have like six thousand subscribers seven thousand whatever it is right now uh which i'm grateful for which i'm actually surprised about i'm i'm not the the mean angry progressive i'm not the guy who's gonna uh go hang out with uh, uh antifa for the weekend i'm a family man, I have uh, children, I have a wife who I love, um, I love this country, I was born here, I was raised here, I think I have fairly decent values as a human being. And the reason I say that is because all I'm trying to do on this channel is to pr promote somebody who I believe could help bring the country together again. Uh, we have a person in the White House right now who I voted for, by the way, who I've realized um, and repented uh, for my sins, and I'm trying to make amends with that. But I'm also trying to also promote somebody who would do just the opposite of what Trump is doing to the country. And by the way, I don't want Donald Trump impeached, because I think that would be horrible for this country. Um, if he gets impeached, so be it. Then you have a Mike Pence to deal with. All right. I want Tulsi Gabbard to be the next president. So just looking at what Crowder just exposed here is that there is somebody pulling a lever, throwing a switch, however you want to look at it, pressing a button, reprogramming the algorithm to say, you know what? This can't trend this way. We can't have this woman, this woman of color, this Hindu who is also being um, attacked for her religious beliefs, by the way. Okay, so not only are they demonstrating religious bigotry, they're demonstrating sexism. The, and these are all the tenets, by the way, of the uh, church of the woke. 
all right? And they're going against all of their, their principles when it comes to Tulsi Gabbard, which is absolutely frightening because it shows how any... Uh, let me let me put it this way any issue that they supposedly care about isn't as important as keeping the status quo in place keeping the war machine running cuz seriously does do google people do people at youtube and google do they not want peace and prosperity do they not want a peaceful world um i i know people at google right and 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 youtube wherever whoever these people are do they not care about the climate? Tulsi Gabbard does. These other people, they sign, they sign treaties with countries, and then they, they won't cooperate with those countries. They'll continue to blow up infrastructure all over the world. How is that going to help climate change? But yet they'll go and do these videos about how um, there are people who are climate deniers. By the way, Tulsi Gabbard rejects those terms climate deniers climate believers please don't use language like that because it's a scare those are scary words it sounds like we're in germany a, a few decades ago all right i believe in the science and it, and i can see empirical data and i'm basically looking at what's happening around me and that's how i've come to the conclusion that i do believe this is real and there's a really, really good chance that we've caused it. And maybe we can reverse it. I don't know if we can reverse it. The point is, this company, at least outwardly, seems to believe in, in these core principles. And I'm not sure why they would protect somebody who believes in destroying the planet through war. How, how is that even... How do those things... Google, YouTube employees, how how do those two things go together? What is it about Tulsi Gabbard? Is it because long in her past, you know, she was supposedly anti-gay? I, I mean, and again, she's explained that, and I think we need to move on. So, by the way, so were all of these politicians that you're protecting. See, Tulsi was so young that I'm willing to give her a pass on any of that stuff uh, in a much bigger, broader way than giving Hillary Clinton a pass or Joe Biden a pass or any of these other politicians a pass because all they did was this. They went, okay, oh, the wind's blowing this way. Well, I better embrace this now because it's where everybody is going. I'm a kind of a live and let live Christian libertarian in that regard. It, it, it's just, it's none of my business what you're doing with your body and go over there and do what you're doing and I won't, I'm not going to go out of my way to um, broadcast my feelings about that because it does, it, you're your own person. This is freedom. This is human freedom. And I believe in human freedom. I believe in the freedom of speech freedom of association, all of those concepts are already in the Constitution. So Crowder here, this is a bombshell to me because it confirms what Tulsi Gabbard has been saying. She realized, not, not that the rigging is always just, say, at the debate where they're planting questions, which they do, or they steer a concept, they steer a, a subject in your direction, hoping that you'll fall into the trap and then have to answer the question and then have to go on the defensive. And then the soundbite that they have of you is you trying to defend yourself and you look uh, weak or you look um, like you're stumbling through and you're not able to get out what you truly believe in. You're not, you're not able to talk about what you would do to make the country a better place. I, I, this is just shocking to me that in our country we have systemic censorship and done in such a sophisticated way. So again, I'll summarize what Crowder just said. He said that if you're in Germany or in Spain and you search out for Tulsi Gabbard, you'll get the proper search results. 
especially based on all the stuff that happened uh, late on Friday. Um, I had people updating me on all the new followers Tulsi was getting. There are some things that uh, you can't really uh, prevent uh, via YouTube, but there are things that um, apparently you can prevent. And this, this is like the discourse. The same stuff, by the way, is happening on Facebook. The same stuff. Facebook, uh, this morning, there's some lawsuit, again, that they have to, that Zuckerberg has to answer for. Um, and it all has to do with the type of advertising and some of the things, some of the data mining and things that they're doing over there. Um, we've got to get control of big tech. And that's another big campaign issue that Tulsi Gabbard was out of the box on. And I have to say, it's probably one of the reasons why big tech is not too thrilled with Tulsi Gabbard. See, Obama uh, and Trump, to some degree, Trump's even sort of, even though Trump does all of the bluster, I, Trump's going to leave these people alone, probably. He, he doesn't care all that much in the long run about free speech. He just wants to manipulate uh, the way people think about him and play all these games, this so-called art of the deal. It's really the art of the steal. And... All I know is that I want a president I can look up to who has empathy for the least of these, who understands um, that you need some form of political sanity when it comes to being the president of the United States. And you have to embrace people. You can't just uh, create enemies and divisions and expect people to be positive and respond positively. So again, um, you may not like Steven Crowder. I really don't care what you think about Crowder. Um, Crowder is good at what he does. It's kind of like the Mark Dice thing. They're, they're both good at what they do. And uh, at times, uh, we are seeing more and more overlap when it comes to truth, uh, whether it's from the left or the right. I can sit and watch Jimmy Dore speak for an hour and he speaks truth i can watch crowder and hear a lot of truth on crowder i don't agree he said in this video at one point that he wouldn't vote for tulsi gabbard that's fine um for a long time he didn't want to vote for donald trump uh and he's not really defending trump here in this video this is about what big tech is doing to my work and the people who are on here who are just uploading content just trying to speak their mind, trying to give their opinion. And now it's confirmed that the data is being manipulated. Search results are being manipulated. Uh, we do need other platforms. We do need other search engines. We do need other channels, other platforms where you can upload videos to and earn a living from. And it needs to be easy. Uh, I've, I think, applied to that uh, new platform called Rockfin, which I've seen a few other progressives on. They've, they haven't gotten back to me, so I don't know what the deal is with that. Uh, I'd love to be on there. I'd love to be able to upload content to both this and to that. Uh, we shall see. Everything, the way everything works out, though, YouTube is, they're kind of like the uh, proprietary technology. So if you're like, I'm doing this video now and the, the program will give me, do you want to upload to YouTube? Every program I have says YouTube. And if there's no choice for Rockfin, there's no choice for uh, Daily Motion or any other video platform that I'm aware of. So in this campaign for the presidency, Tulsi Gabbard has every right to be suing uh, and maybe she'll be the flashpoint for real reform. Uh, everyone in Congress, both on the left and the right, wherever you are politically, should be on this. But unfortunately, many of them are in bed with either big tech or uh, they use what I consider or what you could consider mainstream media platforms that are favorable to them and they don't want to rock the boat. They want to keep things as they are. So, Kind of devastating news because it just shows what we're up against. And, you know, we can we can cry and be the victims. Uh, and 
there is going to be um, a little bit of that that needs to people need to get it out of their system. But in the end, people, we've got to be the change. We've we've got to uh, continue, and people need to upload their own videos railing against this. Whether you want to duplicate the Crowder content or or you just want to do your own video talking about your own personal experiences with this. Uh, I'm promoting Tulsi Gabbard, and it's just Tulsi. I I can't see. Here's the last point I'm going to make. With all of this talk about Tulsi Gabbard, how is she polling at one or two or three percent? How is that even a reality? I wish we could take a vote tomorrow in Iowa or New Hampshire. I really do, because I guarantee you, Tulsi Gabbard isn't going to get one or two percent. She'll get like eight, nine, ten percent of the vote. That would be my prediction. And this garbage with Mayor Pete. See, they they just elevate the candidates they want. They manipulate your mind, essentially, to think, oh, well, that other candidate, they're all washed up. Did you see what you know they said on this channel and so forth? Or I did a search for Mayor Pete, and I got all these search results that say he's at the top of the heap now, and he, he's on fire, his campaign is doing amazing, and, and you're thinking to yourself, how is that possible? And yet you go on Twitter, and Tulsi Gabbard is everywhere. Bernie Sanders is everywhere. And it's the two populist candidates in this race. Again, Trump ran as a populist. He's governed pretty much like a neoconservative, all right, which is the same as what we've had for the last, I don't know how many years. You got two candidates who would truly be representing human beings, me and you, not the corporate interests, not big tech, not big insurance, not big banks. They'd actually be um, helping you and I. And those are the two most popular candidates. Uh, this Elizabeth Warren nonsense. Uh, in a general election, she's going to struggle if she, she gets to the top. And by the way, um, some new polling data has shown Bernie coming back up and unfortunately Biden coming back up because I just... People are looking at Elizabeth Warren on electability. And Bernie can win every state. Bernie could win the state of Texas. He could beat Donald Trump in Texas. Because guess what? There are a lot of working class people in Texas, and they know the system is not treating them fairly. And they just want the system, they want the planets to align a little bit more so the working class has a piece of this, uh, you know, this so called you know, great economy that is pretty much based on all the people at the top hoarding all of everything because, you know, um, you can't unprogram the greed aspect of anything. Um, I know that's called trickle down and trickle down doesn't trickle uh, unless people decide that they want to be charitable and they want to do the right thing. And that's why you need laws in place to make people do the right thing. The same as keeping your car on the road you know, stopping at the stoplight. It's the same same type of morality. It's not really that difficult to figure out. All right, this is a fairly long-winded video. I've rambled enough. Steven Crowder. Um, Steven Crowder, again, just, just saying, you don't have to like Crowder. But Crowder, he's trying to c uncover his own issues, and he stumbled on some truth that can't be denied. And I hope that more and more people will watch the Crowder video, watch this video, make your own videos. We're, we're in the battle uh, for truth and uh, for information that can actually go out and people can listen to it and then make a, an informed decision. In the case of Tulsi Gabbard, that information has been blocked. And not only has the information been blocked, but then you have add to that a disinformation campaign against Tulsi Gabbard based on complete lies and falsehoods. So there you go. Talk to everybody soon. Again, thanks for supporting me. Uh, this video is going to, I'm guaranteeing this video will be demonetized. I would ask you to look at Patreon or PayPal to help me out, even if it's a buck or two. We can have little conversations on, on Patreon if you sign up over there for like a buck or two per month. Uh, the logo on the top right side of this page on the banner of the of my YouTube channel page 
that's where the Patreon logo is. I share that logo uh, with my music channel, so I have one Patreon account for both channels. Uh, so you'll see some music stuff over there. Don't be alarmed. Uh, it's me, Dave. All right. See you soon, folks. Thanks for watching.